Oh no. Are you kidding me again? Again? So Julie's still feeling hurt from Kyle not paying attention to her. So that's nice. We also missed most of their sleepover, I think. Oh, they are being like flirty. There's some romance happening. She's feeling flirty and they're definitely flirting. Like at this point, they should just have a polyamorous relationship. Like it's... <laughs> I don't know what this whole situation is, but it's not working. One more toy to get to the next level. There we go. Play instrument for five total hours. Draw all five picture types on the activity table and achieve level 10 creativity skill. I think that might be the last one. Yes. I think slumber party is actually an, an event, isn't it? Slumber party. There we go. Hostess Julie. Guest. I guess we can invite a few more people. And with a few more people, I apparently mean two. Because that's the only children that we know. Maybe we can like transform the guest bedroom into their little slumber party space. We can have like three sleeping bags right here. Okay, so what do we do? We need to get some sleep, have Sim chatting at the same time, have Sims playing games at the same time, and have Sims eating at the same time. Okay, so let's open the fridge. There's some grilled chicken, poor quality. <laughs> three left. Okay, Great. Let's have Aaron call to meal. Okay, good. We got it. Okay, so playing games at the same time, but there's only two people who can play a game. Oh, wait. Not if we get, like, don't wake the llama. Okay, let's play with Orion and Claudia. This is cute. Oh, look at them having, like, a little slumber party night. I mean, it's literally 6 a.m. They haven't slept. Okay, so they also need to watch TV at the same time. This is so cute. Like, this is so typical, like, slumber party vibes. Playing games, watching movies. Oh, she's promoted to campaign intern. Are they not gonna join? Oh no, this is so classic slumber party vibes where one kid gets excluded from the whole situation. <laughs> okay, there we go. Now they're watching it together. So now we have to tell stories on a sleeping bag. Tell a story, a fairy tale about a pirate princess. Is there not enough space? Hmm, okay, there's not enough space. Okay, I think it's working now. There's just no one listening to the story. Well, no, they're both listening to the story. Okay, that was one story. Let's do another story. I wish they would like sit down on the sleeping bags. What? Some people love art, but everyone loves a popular artist. Should I talk of the town, start painting, and I bet you'll be considered a visionary in no time. How about joining the painter career as a canvas creator? Accept the job. It's too funny at this point. Someone needs to go sleep. How do I make them sleep? Ask guests to set up sleeping bags. Oh, they're gonna sleep outside. Oh, that's how it works. Oh, that looks... It's totally super use usable. So that's... Uh, I'm uh, not sure if that's actually working. Oh, use the time for bed interaction. Oh, get slumber party snacks. <gasps> oh, we can get like a pizza. Well, they stayed up all night, did a bunch of things. I think I would enjoy it more if we like didn't focus on the goal so much. I just wanted to see what the, what it was all about and like what, what all the options are. But I think that would be like a really cute thing to do in the future and not be so focused on, on the goals and just kind of like get some snacks, have like have a talk watch a movie just have like a little bit of fun oh there we go erin is a legendary host and her party was capital a awesome gold level rewards include simoleons and a new sleeping bag okay so are they good friends now <laughs> yes they are nice so that means we can exchange our friendship bracelet oh erin is getting a call oh <laughs> What's up, Aaron? One of my friends heard about how great you are and has been asking to meet you. Gonna give them your number. I think last time it was a friendly thing. We're gonna have to say yes. And hopefully it's still a friend friendly thing. Ask to exchange friendship bracelets. Really? Wow, I'm so excited. This is really bringing our friendship to the next level, you know? Oh, that's so cute. Oh, look, Julie has a friendship bracelet too. And Orion has the one we made, presumably. Yeah, look at that. The little pink one we made. That's so cute. Okay, that's a really cute interaction. That's absolutely adorable. Oh, there we go. Hey, Aaron, I've heard so many good things about you. I'd love it if we can grow to be fast friends. So we need to protest at a bar and paint a political mural today for Aaron's work. She's currently crying it out from, you know, the broken trust thing. Let's actually continue painting this mural. Hopefully that still counts because she didn't like start it today. And we also need to go to a bar and protest. And then we're just going to have a political mural in our garden. <laughs> it takes so long to paint a mural. It's almost Trent's birthday? What do you mean it's almost Trent's birthday? I know I'm playing on short lifespan, but I didn't think it was going to be this short. How long until Julie ages up? Okay, that's five more days. It's a little bit longer. Okay, I think that mural is almost done. I don't know if we can still go to a bar, but we're going to try. So we'll have to go to a different world. Let's pick our least favorite bar. I'm going to go to the one in Strangerville. I don't want to go to like a cute bar and go protest. It's guys night. Gentleman Sim can solder up to 
the bar for a discount drink. Well, that's a good thing to protest because we can't participate. No Sims left behind. I also want free drinks. No Sims left behind. Protest inside the bar. I want free drinks too. Free drinks for everybody. Discount for everybody. Oh, everybody's gathering around too. There we go. We did it. <laughs> okay, let's go home again. <laughs> We just ran into that bar, started protesting out of nowhere, and now we're out. Looks like Kao just befriended a family-motivated sim. Family-motivated sims tend to put family first and often enjoy spending time with children. In terms of sim preferences, would you say that Kyle likes family-motivated sims? I would say yes, because I feel like he's very family-motivated. Oh, that's a ghost. Oh, that's Eleanor! That's Eleanor! Hi! What the... What... Ha! <laughs> Why is he just standing in the tub? How are you doing, Julie? Do you want to, like, do your homework for once? Like, I haven't told her to do her homework once. There you go. Julie has completed her homework for the day. Terrific work on your homework, Julie. Oh my god, I love this nanny. I need that in my life. I just need someone to, like, walk around the house and just tell me that I'm doing a good job. I need that. All right, time for bed, everyone. Let's sleep. He's like, no, no, Aaron. Cancel Aaron. Oh no, he's crying. Oh my god. Imagine, oh no. <laughs> Imagine just sleeping in that bed and your partner like crying right next to you because you cheated. Oh my god, he's literally nice to nobody. Kyle yells at everybody except his children. Does he have friends? Belinda! He likes Belinda. Belinda is such an angel that even Kyle cannot hate them. All right, I think it's the, the first day of school for Julie, right? Let's go have her use the toilet and take a shower. Oh no, she ignored the shower thing. And now she's, oh, she's gonna go to school smelly. Okay, well, at least Orion is going with her. Like she already has a friend. Is there something we can do? Attempt to rebuild trust. Let's do that. We've done it before. We could try again. Oh, look at that. Happy from trust rebuilt. Oh my God, if only it was that easy. Oh, He's feeling confident too from oh from a bitter sentiment before towards someone feeling bad oh that's nice well at least Aaron is happy again oh okay during free time julie drew an inappropriate piece of artwork and showed it to classmates it caused lots of giggling and disrupted the rest of the day and then we have three options we encourage creativity take the drawing and punish her and the teacher is responsible here okay so we encourage creativity it's the top answer so it's usually the most yes it also has a very yes spirit Look, second chance. I mean, more like fourth chance at this point. Sort of fixed it. Except that their Roman's bar is literally down the drain. <laughs> okay, let's promote our cause. Belinda, do you want to hear about our cause? Flirty. Don't do it again. Don't flirt. Do not flirt. All right, there we go. And then let's go to the art center. I also want to be in an arts gallery. I have painting level five. I should belong here too. Art center needs to be free. Oh God. Oh, all right. So job offers are now rolling in for Erin as well, but she's actually not allowed to say no. You've got quite the positive reputation. People will love your floral arrangements and landscaping. Have you considered a career as gardener? I haven't, but I'm gonna be now. I'm ready to give you two green thumbs up and propose you into a role as a leaf cutter rank four sound good right sure except the job offer so you know abandon the pro protesting we're gonna be a gardener now and we're immediately gonna jump start with an assignment harvest a plant okay i don't think it this is gonna be the space for plant harvesting. So let's go back home and see if we can find something. Oh, our bills. Well, good thing we have money. All right, I guess we'll go around and see if there's something to harvest around here. I don't think it's the best spot for harvesting. We might have to go somewhere else. Although, tra trash plant? Oh no, okay, that's not doing anything. Oh no, oh no! Heron, we'd love to have you join the Paragons. What do you think? On the list of things I wasn't expecting, this one is definitely one of them. Isn't the Paragons a teen club? Isn't that a club for teens? Yeah, I'd love to. Oh, great. Welcome to the Paragons. I'm happy that you have decided to join our club. We're having a club gathering. I would love for you to introduce yourself to the group. We're meeting at Bathe the Rill. Grab your swimsuit and join us at the pool. Are you going to make it? And of course, we're going to say yes. I'll be right there. Joining the Paragons. That's a new one, isn't it? All right. Well, here we are. B uh, Belinda has joined our nanny. Oh, good. Our rifle club. The Renegades are here. <laughs>